For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, let's find this, uh, let's do this problem where it says determine the equivalent resultant force and the coupled moment at point O. So, you know that the distributed load is under this curve and it has an equivalent force somewhere around here. Let's call it F. So if you want to find the magnitude of the force, you need to find the area under the curve. Now the area under the curve is given by the integral. So the integral, you know that this has a length of 3, so from 0 to 3 of the function, which is w, dx, that will give you the area under the, the curve. Now, This is equal to the integral from 0 to 3 of w, which is 1 third x cubed dx. That will be the integral from 0 to, actually, let me just solve it now. That would equal to x over 4, I mean x to the 4 over 12 from 0 to 3 which would equal to 6.75 kilonewtons. So now that we have the equivalent force, we can find this distance x bar, x bar by doing the integral of x times the function dx from 0 to 3 obviously over the integral from 0 to 3 of the function dx. Now the bottom we already found up here. We know that the integral of the function from 0 to 3 is 6.75. So the top will become the integral from 0 to 3 of x to the 4 over 3 dx. And the bottom we already found as 6.75. So the top becomes x to the 5 over 15 from 0 to 3, bottom is 6.75. So when you plug in the, the 3 into here, the 0 become everything becomes 0. So when you plug in the 3, 3 to the 5 over 15, and then divide that by 6.75, you get that the x bar is equal to 2.4 meters. But they want the moment of O. So this is the distance that we're trying to find D. So the moment is equal to the force times the distance d. The force is 6.75. The distance d is 3, this length, minus x bar, which we found at 2.4 meters. And this is equal to 4.05 kilonewton meters going clockwise because it's turning it the forces are turning attempted to turn this lever arm I'm sorry kind of clockwise so final answer and the distance that the forces applied is 0.6 meters final answer please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help thank you